Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cattails. In the last episode, we taught Aqua how to live her life to the fullest in the forest. We went battling together, we foraged up some flowers for our friends too, and we even went up to the mountain colony to try to get enough trust from them to stick our noses into their shops. We're up to 52% with the mountain colony, so it does take quite a few gifts before we can uh, buy anything from them. But we figured, after seeing all of the special things that they had inside their stores, it would be a good idea for us to befriend the mystic colony too. Especially before the winter rolls around and things are going to start getting harder for all of the colonies to survive. So we'll see if we have any extra catnip laying around in our den. I'm pretty sure we do, and we also have this giant stash of bugs over here. Maybe we should consider selling that off to Ember. We have all of our damselflies from the last season, and the colorful ladybugs too, which nobody seems too impressed with. So in all honesty, it might do us better if we just um, sell them off to Ember. Hopefully you won't mind taking all of our bugs off of our hands. We do have quite a bit, so your shop is certainly going to be stocked after this. And something tells me we might even have some more for you later, after we come back from the Mystic Colony later today. But 22 Mews is nothing to scoff at. That's a pretty good for a single bug haul. Now we're up to 348 Mews, and we need 400 to uh, talk to that mole about that garden upgrade, so I think we're gonna be getting it pretty soon. Now we'll want to zip back into the den and grab up some uh, little snacks for Penny to take with her on the journey, of course. Some little mice for her to eat along the way, just in case because the days are getting colder, so that means food isn't a guaranteed thing anymore. On the plus side, it looks like some of our herbs are growing back, so that means we might be able to uh, find some more catnip after all. Maybe some of our usual spaces are ready for us to harvest again. But I think we want to head to the south today, because if I remember correctly, the map shows that we have two battles right on the shoreline again, so something tells me those mystic cats are up to their mischievous ways. It's going to be a little bit difficult for us to uh, gain their trust if we're also tearing apart their cats on our borders, but we have to protect our land too. The forest colony is doing a pretty good job taking over the entire forest. Pretty soon, world domination isn't just going to be a pipe dream for Penny anymore. We even have some lavender in our inventory. So if those battles aren't enough to fully claim those tiles, then we can spread a bit of extra influence there too. But let's go ahead and snack on one of our mice. We'll take our extra valerian and then we'll charge into battle. Now this is where you thrive, Aqua. Our attack turtle is always ready for another battle, and it looks like we're going to need it because there are quite a few mystic cats here. We even need to call our allies back in because unfortunately they've taken off all of our cats, but we should be able to uh, finish them off now. We just have a rose left, and then we can pick up all of the mews that they've left behind. It was a little bit trickier than our other battles from the previous day, but Aqua could use a good challenge, and she still succeeded in the end. So let's go check out the other battle directly below us too. We don't have access to our skills anymore, so this one might be a bit trickier and oh my goodness, there are so many cats. We might not be able to defend the beach from uh, these cats. There are a lot of them and they've already taken out ours. Well, if you wouldn't mind, guys, I am going to, oh my goodness, scoop up some of the shells before we leave, but wait a second. Our own reinforcements have just uh, jumped in from the waves. So some of our cats have actually gone swimming in the ocean. That's quite interesting. We did learn that there's some sort of secret way beyond the beach, so maybe they're doing some scouting for us? Well, if we take some of our herbs, then we might be able to investigate that a little bit more. We do definitely need to heal our poor little penny cat before we charge back into the fray, and maybe munch on yet another one of our little mice too. There were only a few cats left, and now we can use our deep cuts ability again. So let's scoot on back here, use our deep cuts, and then I uh, get to work. Oh my goodness, did our turtle literally just take out that cat? It certainly seemed like it. It was probably just because of the uh, bleeding cuts, of course, but it really did make it look like Aqua was nipping at their heels. Well, thank you for the backup, my little turtle friend. And let's see if we can uh, get a glimpse of any of our cats down on the beach. We can go a little bit further out. This is actually where we can do some fishing, too. I wonder if we could get this fish right over here. An ocean fish? We certainly haven't brought anything like this back to the colony before, but it seems to have noticed Pennycat because it's not too willing to get much closer. 
Let's try to pounce now. Oh no, a little bit too far away. I don't think the study prey ability works on the fish. Yeah, they don't give us any circles of detection like on the other animals. So let's just try to wait for this one. We'll be super, super patient and then pounce. Oh no, we were too late. Well, there's so many fish here. One of them surely has to land right in Penny's jaws. We'll try this one next. There we go. Oh, that was um, a sea bass, an ordinary sea dwelling fish, but I'll bet this is something special to give to one of our cats. I'm sure not many of them travel way, way down to the ocean to uh, get their food. And there's a rare um, damselfly too. That was the banded darter, a rare red bug that emerges in autumn. Its wings have small bands of red color that give this dragonfly its name. So it looks like Ember is going to have uh, more bugs on his hands after all. Let's go ahead and try to sneak up on this crow too, since we're doing a pretty good job hunting now. There we go. That way Penny will have um, a little bit of extra food right in her back pocket and maybe even some more. She does love the birds. Oh no, but that one got away from her. This is actually a really good place for us to uh, catch all different types of birds. Doves all around. They remind me of little seagulls, of course. Maybe that's what they're meant to be since they're uh, strutting away on the beach. But we lucked out because it looks like those battles did allow us to uh, take over both of those tiles. And it also looks like there's another battle raging here today. If we scoot out this way and then jump back in, we're going to see more cats, all right. Well, that's not too bad because now we can collect even more Mews as soon as we get rid of all of the uh, mystic colony cats in our way. So we're up to 389. Oh, we are so close to that garden. Well, let's use our lavender right here. This would be a pretty good place for us to uh, use it anyway because we do want to be nice and safe in this area. Since Penny doesn't have the best of swimming skills, she would feel much safer if she was protected by her colony while she practices. Well, Aqua, I hope you're ready for another battle. We're right along the borders of the um, Mystic Colony this time, and actually right between our borders as well. I was going to say that maybe this would mean that um, the battle is going to be much bigger, but in all honesty, if we're between both of our colonies, we might actually stand a chance. But yeah, look at how many Mystic Cats there are here. That is a lot of Mystic Cats for us to fight. Come on, soldier, you can do it. Nope, it's just down to us now, so let's use our deep cut skill. That seemed to work really, really well last time, and then we'll try to uh, get these cats before they can get too close to us. Now we're just down to Oak. We can go ahead and pick up this uh, marigold before they try to steal it. And then um, we should be able to take them out pretty easily because Oak is quite a bit weaker than Penny Cat. There we go. Pretty soon this tile is going to be under our control too. And then we'll be right up against the Mystic Colony. And not only that, but look, we have 400 Mews now. So that means as soon as we go back home, we should be able to uh, summon the mole to see if he wouldn't mind building us a little garden upgrade for our den. I am super excited to uh, see how that works. What the heck is that? A snake lily? That's something new. Oh, we are inside the wetlands now, so this must be a special to this area. A poisonous flower can be used to apply a toxin to your claws for a short time. Oh my goodness, what a lethal discovery. Good job, Penny Cat. You can certainly take that home and uh, show it off to Mare, maybe. Show it off to Sarge, too, because I'm sure he would love to uh, have a little bit more of an advantage while he's guarding our colony. That is a super, super good find, especially since we're uh, just about to build that garden, too. So I wonder if that's also something that we can grow inside our den. We'll have to uh, remind everyone not to get too close, of course because we don't want our own colony getting sick when they walk in Penny's den. But it seems as if Trouble has already sniffed us out. Chestnut must have heard that we were stealing some of their special plants. If this is what they're growing in the Mystic Colony though, I guess it's probably a good thing that we're trying to get on their good side. Maybe that's why they've been uh, training up their armies so well, because they know they have some very, very big advantage on their side. There's another one too, so if we run into any more of the cats on the borders, maybe we should give it a try? It seems kind of poetic to uh, use their own poison against them at least. But man, Penny is having some trouble hunting in the um, wetlands. Maybe if we use our study prey ability, we can get this crow over here? There we go, you just had to watch it a little more closely. So I think um, the Mystic Colony should be really, really close. Let's scoot off to um, their main camp. Oh, wait a second. 
That person looked familiar. Okay, there's tons and tons of cats. One of them looked almost just like Penny. But let's go ahead and use um, this poison and see how it works. Our claws have been poisoned for 20 seconds. So we'll have to do as much damage as we possibly can against these cats. And then if we combine it with our deep cut skill, or our snapping turtle skill even, then we might be able to send these cats packing. Yeah, but we'll definitely need to uh, heal up after this one. So we'll keep that other a snake lily tucked very close to our sides. Oh, there you are, Abyss. You were the one who looked suspiciously like a penny cat. Well, we're going to get rid of you too, and then maybe take a quick peek at our skill points because, uh, yeah, we fought quite a few battles today, so we definitely have some points to spare. Maybe we should try upgrading our foraging skill? Since we have just uh, done quite a bit of foraging today, maybe that would even help us use the uh, snake lily to our advantage. And then of course the swimming skill too because Penny is still trying to train herself to be able to keep up with Aqua. She is getting much better though. It's kind of like Aqua has inspired her to uh, take on the task of swimming, but where on earth is the oracle today? Let's see, maybe we could uh, summon her by trying to uh, technically sneak into their borders. Not truly, but I'm sure the oracle is going to come charging out of the territory to stop us. You can't just walk in here. This is the mystic colony. We don't easily accept outsiders from another colony. All visitors to the mystic colony must go through me. Well, don't worry, oracle. I actually have a couple of gifts for you. We have some marigolds that we can give them. And of course, this catnip as well, which I know the mystic colony is really going to like. I saw you're coming from afar. What is it you seek? If you bear gifts for the Mystic Colony, you can hand them over to me. Yeah, I do have some catnip for you. Oh, she has a little sunny icon over her head too. That is adorable. Our colony thanks you for your impressively generous gift. Your reputation with the Mystic Colony is at 5%. All right, so we still have quite a bit of work to go. Let's try the marigolds next. I feel like these are probably the most valuable herbs that we have inside our inventory right now. And I'm sure the Mystic Colony would love some herbs to uh, perform all of their rituals with anyway. So now we're at 8%. You know, something tells me we're not going to be able to uh, sneak into their camp today. But if we keep giving them all of these lovely gifts, then sooner or later, they'll trust us enough. So we'll be back tomorrow, Oracle. And uh, maybe we'll try to snag this little damselfly that's coming out of your camp. There we go. Don't mind us. We have found quite a few treasures in your territory, but uh, a damselfly is probably not something that they're going to come chasing after us for. They probably see plenty of those around here. And the rare ones too. Hello. Well, we'll try to scoop you up as well as we take one last snake lily for the road. So now might be a good time for us to return to the colony and show everyone what we found tons of different herbs for uh, our colony to experiment with, of course. Those snake lilies that we're going to have to keep super, super safe inside our den. And then we have some little gifts that we can spread around too. I think we still have some uh, blackberries inside our inventory for Missy. We have some mice that we could share with either Scout or Sarge. And perhaps some uh, Mare might like to see our newest catch, this little sea bass that we managed to find while we were scouting the beaches. Greetings, stay sharp out there and don't wander too far from the borders. Well, I hope you like fish. Oh, look at that shocked expression. How did you know that I love these? Thank you so much. This is a great gift, Penny, and I truly appreciate it. Excellent, so we know who to uh, give our fish to, I guess. So that means Sarge should never have to worry about getting a rotten gift again. We'll fill you up with all of these little mice instead. And you'll be very happy to know that we found a whole new way for us to uh, protect the borders. Penny, how goes the day? Birds are hard to sneak up on. They can see so far. Just keep practicing and stay low. Oh, Sarge must have heard that Penny's very favorite snack is a bird's. Maybe he's thinking about uh, finding a little gift for her too. But let's see, I guess we could give um, one of our other mice to Scout because I did just see him stroll in from the borders, so I'm sure he would appreciate some supper. I know it's not the bunnies that you love so much, but I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. Hey, thanks, I've always liked these, Penny. <gasps> Look at that, he's at five stars now. Oh my goodness, I think that means that we can give him the red rose. Oh, so that might be something that we uh, take a look at in the next episode. We have a little bit of extra time to devote to Scout. I'm going to give him an extra mouse just in case, because I would hate to see that deteriorate to four stars overnight. Hey, thanks. I've always liked these, Penny. Oh, Scout, I'm so excited. I have a very, very special surprise in store for you later. Let's talk to him too. Well, 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 if it isn't Penny. 
Does it feel like this month's taking forever to go by to you? It does to me. I'm not even sure why. I'm not really looking forward to anything in particular. It just seems so slow. Oh, perhaps he's harboring hopes of seeing Penny's red rose as well. And he's getting a little impatient about it all. Well, Lyris, I do have some lovely flowers that I can offer to you, so you can spread these all around your home. Uh, thank you, Lyris truly likes these. Yeah, I think he actually does prefer the marigolds, but uh, we did have to give them off to the Mystic Colony today to gain their trust a little bit more. We want to get on their good side, especially because we found that they're growing poison in their territory. So we don't want to see an attack like that on our borders. Something tells me that Doc probably wouldn't enjoy it if we gave him one of these as a gift. Even though he might be able to study it, I'm afraid that he's going to think that we're trying to like give him something that could hurt the cat, so I'm going to skip out on that one. Instead, maybe we could just try the Valerian? We unfortunately used up all of our herbs on the road, Doc. But if he doesn't like this, then we could always sneak some from our den, too. What a swell gift, Penny. You're a real partner. So no love hearts from Doc today, but at least he seemed to enjoy it nonetheless. He could always hand that off to one of the other cats if they're going off exploring. Doc doesn't seem to do too much outside of the colony, so I'm not sure if he would really need to use it. Maybe at the very least it would help him move around faster. He is a bit of an older cat, so sometimes it takes a bit extra to keep him going. Now last but not least, we can't forget about our lovely Ember. We have some of these uh, licorice roots stockpiled next to him because we know he loves these. So we'll offer these as our final gift right before we stock your shelves with even more bugs from our journeys. Little rare banded darters the uh, more common southern damselfly, and then tons and tons of shells too. We'll keep all the rest in our inventory because we definitely want to uh, tuck the poison safely away. We'll keep the toads for a snack for later, or maybe even right now. I guess Penny would like to munch on a little crow before she goes to call the mole. He'll have to refresh my memory on his name, unfortunately. We have Molo the mole, who runs the mines in our territory, and then Molby, who will build for us. So if you wouldn't mind, Molby, I do have your very first job, and he's burrowed up under our Valerian again. We really need to move that for you. So the garden room is right in the middle in price at 400 mews. It'll add a garden to the right side of our den so we can start growing a few herbs from home. This is going to take three days to complete, so I guess it's a good thing that we're doing it right now. That means it should be done right before um, the winter time rolls around. Great, I'll get to work immediately. Should only take me a few days to finish it for you. Excellent. So uh, can we see anything? Anything he's working on? Oh my gosh, he's actually in the darkness over there. How adorable is that? So we can see Molby hard at work. That way we know that he is uh, spending our muse well. And now let's find a good spot to uh, plop down those snake lilies too. Just for now. We'll put them away over here off in the corner so nobody should accidentally stumble into them. You know, if we end up starting a little family of our own with Scout, then we're going to have to keep these far, far away from our kittens because I would hate to see a tragedy like that. But I guess in the next episode, we'll be uh, giving Scout our very first Red Rose. Hopefully he's going to accept it. I can't imagine that he wouldn't though because five stars means that he is our closest friend in the entire colony so far. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how that relationship is going to progress as the winter looms ever closer. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!